Welcome. This video shows how you can reposition SecureCRT's Session Manager and toggle its auto-hide feature off and on. In this video, I'm using SecureCRT version 8.3, in which you can see the Session Manager here, in its default position, docked to the left-hand side of the main window. By default, the Session Manager's auto-hide feature is enabled, which allows the Session Manager to be there when you need it, but it goes away or hides automatically to save your screen real estate. If you always want the Session Manager window to be visible and docked to the side, you can turn off its auto-hide feature by pinning it in the Windows version of SecureCRT. To pin it, click on the little push pin icon in the Session Manager's title bar. In Linux and Mac OS versions of SecureCRT, right-click in the Session Manager's tree view and toggle the Auto-Hide Session Manager option. When Auto-Hide is turned off, the Session Manager can be undocked from SecureCRT's main window by dragging the Session Manager by its title bar. Double-click the Session Manager's title bar to toggle between the last docked and undocked positions. The Session Manager can be repositioned so that it's at the top, right, or bottom side of the SecureCRT window instead of at the left. This is how the redocking process works on Linux. The process on macOS is very similar, but it looks a little different in SecureCRT for Windows. To dock the Session Manager to another position in the Windows version of SecureCRT, drag the Session Manager such that your mouse cursor is over one of these several drop points, positioned relative to where you want the docking to take place. The drop points are each provided in duplicate, these two for docking to the top, these two for the right, and others for the bottom and left sides of the SecureCRT window. Once you have the Session Manager redocked, you can toggle Auto Hide back on if you desire to save screen real estate. As a final note, here are some shortcut keys that you can use to activate the Session Manager if it's currently hidden. My favorite is Alt-I, since it not only activates the Session Manager, but also places keyboard focus into the Filter field, allowing me to type the session name or some part of it. The Session Manager will then show me those sessions which match what I typed. I can then arrow down to the session I want, or just press Enter to launch the session that's highlighted. That's all for this video. Stay secure, my friends.